Hello there! Today we will learn how to create clone videos using the Wondershare Filmora 13. Before we jump into that, I want to talk about the Filmora Creator Hub. It brings all the creative videos and tutorials made by professional creators into a single page. So, browse through the Creator Hub to learn video editing and the unique features of the Wondershare Filmora 13. You can search by tutorials, creators, and current activities. In the activity page, you can join many campaigns and giveaways. So how to create clones? I will show you using these two clips. First, create duplicates of these videos. You can use hotkeys, control plus alt keys, then drag the videos to the upper layer. It's that easy in the Filmora 13. Next, we will use two AI tools to remove the background from these duplicate videos. First one is AI Portrait. Adjust the edge feather and the edge thickness as needed. Artificial intelligence can detect the human in the video and remove anything else from it. You can hide the original clip to see. So we create a clone, just like that. Move it in the frame to the right or left. There you go. For the second video, we will not use AI portrait as the background is not a green screen or solid color of higher contrast. It might be difficult for AI to perfectly differentiate the person from the background. Instead, we will apply another tool called Smart Cutout. Move to the first frame then, mark the object, the dancing girl in this case, using the brush tool. Make sure it's accurately marked in all the places. Adjust edge thickness and edge feather as needed. Perform the Smart Cutout process. There it is, a clone of the girl created in seconds. Create as many clones as you wish by duplicating this cutout video and placing in the upper track. Move and place them accordingly. To place clones in the back, we shall decrease the size to create a perspective. Also, it's important to place the clone girls, who are at the front, to the upper layer, so that the clones in the back don't overlap the clones in the front. Now instead of dancing in sync, we can make it look random, with some tricks. Let's change the speed of this clip to slow, set it at half the speed. We will increase the speed of the lower video to double. For the third layer, we can reverse the clip. For the fourth one, let's move it a little so that it doesn't sync with the original. Great, right? Let's do the same for the first video, reverse the duplicates, and change the speed a little. Now, in the Filmora 13 editor, there are some body effects available in the effects library. Apply them to the clips as you please. Using AI Portrait, neon light effects will be applied. Also, there is another effect called Audio Driven Effect, which makes the clips bounce or shake, matching the audio beats, making it look so awesome. So making clones is so much easy and fun in the Wondershare Filmora 13, try it today. Thanks for watching Gizmo Journal.